Hi, this is Ron from HVAC Training Solutions. I get a lot of phone calls asking how the online training works, so I'm going to give you a tour of our online training classroom. So here's our home page, and once you've enrolled in a course, you need to go to your, the student login page. Now the student login page is where you enter the back end of the training site, and this is where you enter your username and password. Now if you don't have a username and password already you'll have to go over here and click on create a new student account and then you have a short form to fill out. It will email you immediately upon submission and it, with your um, confirming your student status and then you can come back to this page and log in. So you put your username and password in and you only have to fill this form out one time. Once you've logged in, it's going to bring you to the the training site homepage. This area right here is where we have the the news for anything that's going on with the website. As you can see, we're still under renovations for some of our courses, but we have the full HVAC tech and the Nate core classes that are available for enrollment. Now, if you've signed up for the HVAC technician course under my courses, you're going to have the uh, your classes that are available and there's other courses listed down here for later on in your career for example if you are wanting to pursue commercial refrigeration after you've worked in the field for a while we do have a commercial refrigeration course available for you and back up here is your home button that takes you back to your your home page so, now, so let's take a look at the HVAC technician class Now at the top of the course there's some there's some administrative area here and the first thing we'll look at is the HVAC student forum. This is where I would encourage you to post questions if you have a, a course specific question and then we together can answer them and learn together on the forum and that way if a student that follows on behind you has the same question they can learn from our discussion. Here's our course curriculum and then if we have a live e-learning session it's going to be uh, listed down below so that just explains how you can register for the live e-learning. In this course we have Mike and Jeff um, they are two imaginary technicians Jeff is a Nate certified student of his trade technician and Mike is a brand new guy we do some ride-alongs with them on service calls and, and learn from what they discover. So here's what week one looks like it has your learning objectives and reading assignments. And the new part of the course is each reading assignment has a corresponding video. So if you click right down here on the video lessons, it's going to bring up the video that corresponds with your reading assignment that you can watch just to, to help supplement your reading. And this these are the key points and key concepts that and they're short five to eight minute videos. Some may be longer as we get a little bit further down the down in the course but I try and keep them so that they're short and easy to watch you can either click up here on the reading assignment that will take you to the video or to the video lessons any key concepts that uh, I think are important I will have explained in a little more detail to help supplement the book So each module is laid out the same. At the end there is an exam. There's a time limit of 40 minutes. It is open book, but I don't have a, an unlimited amount of time because you really need to learn this. It's more important for you to have a the knowledge than it is for you to have the certificate. Most of the exams have 20 questions with a minimum pass, passing score of 80%. When you're ready for the module exam, you click on the module exam. Now here's what makes us a little bit different, especially when we get down into the very important modules, the uh, refrigeration and refrigerants. This is where we have some service calls that you can go through some real service calls explaining what's happened and what's been found.
and this is the very cool thing here is we have some interactive refrigeration exercises and this gives you an opportunity to give some hands to get some hands on this is a high system charged fixed orifice R22 system it gives you all of the symptoms causes and corrective actions and then you can go down here to look at your pressure gauges and drag and drop your temperature gauge and start to make your refrigeration measurements just like if you were at a regular service call what this gives you a chance to do is get a chance to look at the gauges convert these to temperatures and do superheating and subcooling calculations sitting here and you can do it just as many times as you need to make sure that you understand it and that's and we have some of these also in the electrical portion so that when you are out in the field you've had some experience with what to expect with with doing these important measurements so that is how our course is laid out that's what makes us different and if you have any questions please feel free to call at the 800 number on the main website or give me an email at ron at hvactrainingsolutions.net